while we're here, is anyone using a Mac computer? Or are we mostly PC? PC, good. Rich is typing. Mac with Parallels VM for Windows 7. Hmm, Rich. It, it's likely it'll work. This plugin will work um, with your um, Parallel, but I'd be curious to know if it didn't. So, Alyssa writes, could this work on my smartphone? Um, I have to think about that. I think there is a way to get it to work on your smartphone. Um, I think there's an app for that. I just don't know offhand. I know it's on the slides, but I didn't elaborate on the slides. So um, what I'll do is I'll write that question down, and then I'll get back to you with a full and complete explanation. Um, I usually send a follow-up email after my workshops, and uh, this will be this. The answer to this will be included in the follow-up email on accessing Word documents in, or accessing Office documents in Google Drive on smart devices. So let me write that down. Accessing Office docs on Drive on smartphones. I mean, there would be a completely different app. It wouldn't be this app that I'm presenting. Okay, so we have Sonia and Diana. Welcome. Let me know you can hear me by typing into the chat if you are having a problem. Please call 2 at client support to see if they can get someone to help you. That's 2-9800 and that is client support. Great, I'm so glad you can hear me. Oops. Okay. All right, we'll get started. It, actually, it is 1.30, so I'm going to get started. So, um, so thank you for coming. And um, today we're going to talk, my name's Nicole Gladkey. You've gotten enough emails from me to know my name. But today we're going to talk about uh, how to use the Microsoft Office plugin for Google Drive. And the reason why we want to use the Office plugin is so that we can stay using our Word, Excel, and PowerPoint files, but instead of saving them on our computer or saving them on a shared network drive, we can save them in Google Drive. And the reason why that is convenient is because we can always have access to them from Google Drive. We can always download them onto any computer. So let's say if we're at home and we needed to access an um, a Word file that we stored on Google Drive. We can just log into our email, go to Google Drive, and access that Word file to look at. But as you know, when you look at Office files on Google Drive, you can't edit them. So this provides a solution that you can download onto any PC. This plugin allows you to download onto any PC, and I'm going to show you how to download the plugin in just a second and how easy it is. You can download it onto any PC and then access your Google Drive files and then use Microsoft Word, Excel, or PowerPoint to make edits to them. Okay? So, and um, aside, on a side note, Google Drive offers unlimited storage. That means it's unlimited storage. There's no worrying about going over quota or anything like that because you have unlimited storage. With shared network drives, you're limited to, I think it's one gigabyte, or it could be two gigabytes, I'm, or gigabytes, terabytes, I don't really know. Um, but I know there is some sort of limit. 
Um, also, if you store documents on your computer and you don't back up your computer, if something were to happen to your computer, then um, you may lose those files and you don't want to do that. By storing it in Google Drive, it's stored in the cloud and it's, uh, it's safe there and um, you don't have to worry about something failing or backing anything up because Google Drive has a gazillion redundancies, so if one of their server fails, it has a redundant, everything's redundant on another server or another several thousand servers. Okay, so um, I basically talked, already talked about the benefits, so I'm going to move on. There are other ways to work with Office files on Google Drive. Um, the first bullet here says uh, you can install Google Drive on your devices. I think, I'm not sure, Alyssa, this might address the issue that you're having or that you wanted to know more about where you want to access Office files on Google Drive. I think there's a way on uh, smartphones. I just, what I really want to do is uh, test it out for myself and write you a follow-up email about it, okay? Um, also, there are Chrome extensions that will allow you to edit very limitedly, very minimally, Office files, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Um, it's really just adding a word here and there and maybe some bold, and that's about it. You can't do a whole lot. So for Mac users, the Chrome extension is probably the way to go. Now, you all have this, these, uh, I emailed you this slideshow along with the slides on how to download the plugin. So you can always click on these blue links to find out more information about them. Also, see my blog post down here at the bottom where it compares and contrasts all the ways to access Drive files or Office files on Google Drive. Okay. So the plugin is really easy. You just click on this link and then click on download. Um, I have a guide here on how to download the plugin, but it's really easy and I'm going to show you in just a second. I just want to see what the next slide is. Okay. Um, just to go quickly through what you get with the plugin, you get an extra menu item when you open up Office, Excel, or PowerPoint, when you open up any one of those types of files. And when you click on that menu item, these are your menu items. You get to save the document that you're looking at onto Drive. You can open up new documents. You can share the document to other people within the organization or other Google uh, users. You can save the document um, to Google Drive. It's kind of redundant. They're, they're kind of the same. I don't really know what the difference is, but maybe I'll play around with it today see if I can find what the exact difference is. You can rename the file and you can move the file into other folders and then you can play around with the settings as well. Okay, so let me just go back a little bit and um, I'm going to click on this link to download the plugin. Any questions so far? So far, oops, I got to go back. Let me click on that link. Okay, so here's the page to download the plugin, and it's super duper easy. You just click on download, accept and install. It wants to download it to my downloads folder on my PC, so I'm going to click save, and then it'll appear at the bottom of my Chrome browser. I can click on it to run it. And then I just wait momentarily. Installation is complete. And that's it. We're done. So let's see if it actually worked. I'm going to close this. Now you should see uh, my desktop. And I'm going to open up. Um, I'll do, I guess I'll do uh, Excel. Okay. Maybe I want to use one of these, I'll use um, one of these fancy templates. Okay, so here's my Excel template. Um, it looks like a calendar because I'm using a template. This is my Excel file. Okay, 
And then um, after I'm done adding things to this, um, so it's conference day, always days off with public schools. I can now save this to Google Drive and click Save to Drive. I can say rename it, so I will rename it to uh, School Calendar and then click on OK. Now it says it's connecting and uploading. OK, and then that's it. So it uploaded to Google Drive, but let's see if it actually did upload to Google Drive. So I'm going to go to Google Drive, go to My Drive, and here it is. It's the school calendar. Now, you can tell here um, that if you notice, let me make this a little bit bigger. I have under my folders here, I have um, some files. And uh, they're kind of co color coordinated. So the green ones mean that they're spreadsheets. The X means it's an office file. And the green one means that it's a Google Sheet file. Um, the slideshows are, the colors are a little bit different. Uh, the P means it's a PowerPoint file. And then the, the square, the orangey square one, means it's a Google Slides file. And then you have Word. And then you have a Google Docs file. So when I, I'm in Office, uh, I'm sorry, in Google Drive on the web, when I try to open up an Excel file, I get this black border and I can't do anything with it. Um, I can't edit it. I'm clicking on these boxes and nothing's happening. So I can only just look at it. I can print it out if I want to and I can download it, but I can't really do anything else. When I open up um, one of these, the green box, you know, I can open it up and edit because it is a Google, it was an Office file that I converted into a Google file. Okay, and you can notice that the frame around it is lighter and that you can edit them if you want to. Okay, so I just wanted to make note of the differences there, but let's go back into Excel. Now, what I can do here is um, I can open another file. The next menu item, it's kind of small, but the next menu item is open. And I can open stuff that is in my drive. Okay, and so here's my, my documents. Now, even though I'm in Excel and I'm opening it from, oh, where'd it go? There it goes. Even though I'm in Excel and I opened it, I, I did open, I can click on, say, this Word file and open that, and it'll actually open up in Word for me. So I guess that's kind of a trick. So anytime you're in that open menu, you can open up whatever you want. You're not limited just to Excel files. And also, um, if I wanted to, I can open up this Google file. It'll just open it up in Chrome. OK, and then I'll have to sign in. I have this Share button. Now, this is the school calendar. And I want my, let's say I want my, um, my boss aware of the school calendar because I might not be in when there's a school conference. So I can click on share and I'll have to sign in. Now this is a little funny. This is the buggy part. Okay. Look at how small the sign in is, the familiar net ID sign on is. Look at how small it is. How do I get down to the next field? So I'm going to type in my my username. Okay. Now does anyone know how I can get down to the next field? I've tried to make this box bigger, but it doesn't do it. It doesn't allow me to drag and make this box bigger. So how can I get down to the next field? You can hit tab. Yeah, thank you, Rich. Hit tab. So if you ever find that you're in a, you know, 
um, um, uh, I guess this is a bug. I don't know. You can hit tab and go down to the next field. So I'm going to type in my password. Let me type that in again. I don't think I did it right. Okay, and then I can hit tab. It goes to the next field, but now I can go to that login and I can click on it or since it's highlighted, I can hit enter and it'll sign in and then for some reason now it makes the box a little bit bigger. Don't ask me why. And then I can add my boss or my colleague or my husband, anyone who has a Google account to this uh, school calendar. Here is the school calendar. And I'm just going to tell my colleague to ignore this. Okay, so now she has access to edit the file. If I don't want her to edit this file, I can just give her view access, but you know what, it doesn't really matter um, because it, it's an office file, so I can give her edit access. And then click send and then she'll get an email. Okay. I can rename the file by clicking on rename. I can call it school calendar 2017. Okay. I can move the file. Okay, thank you. It says the school calendar was successfully renamed. Thank you very much. I can move the file. Um, right now the file is in Google Drive, but I can't really see that, and that's probably another buggy little thing. Um, it doesn't tell us that it's in Google Drive and not in any other folder. So what I can do is I can decide I want to put it in this folder and then click select. Okay, so now I've just, the file school calendar doesn't have the updated name, that's probably another little bug, was successfully moved to the folder called test. Okay, let's take a look at what I have in um, Chrome and let's see what it did. So is it in test? Let's see. Let's go to the last modified. And school calendar is updated with the new name and it is in the test folder. So it works very nicely. Um, and then the last setting is just settings. So I can decide when um, opening display, you know, when, I'm, when I want to open, when I click on the open tool, I can have it display Office and Google files only or just Office files only, so I don't open up any Google files, or I can have it show all files. It's up to you. Okay, and you can have it always ask me before inserting files into Google Drive. You can have it ask you or not. Um, let's take a look at the account. This is the account. Shows how much storage I'm using. So far I'm using about um, five and a half gigabytes of storage, and then I can sign out if I want to. Okay, if I sign out, I'll just have to sign back in. All right, so that was basically it. Does anyone have any questions? Did anybody install it as we were going through this? And did anyone run it into snags? I know, Rich, you're running Parallels and... It works great in Parallels. That's great to know. Okay, Jennifer DeVito is down, downloading it right now. Let me know if you run into a problem, Jennifer. How about anyone else? Did anyone else download it? All right, so, you know, this was a short presentation. Um, we do try to stress to use Google Drive because of the unlimited storage space. Um, and um, this is the perfect solution to somebody who is embedded in Office files. If you know Office, Microsoft Office, you know Excel, you know Word, you're comfortable with those tools, there's no need to change. You don't, you don't have to use Google Drive, or at least you don't have to learn Google Drive until you really have to. You can still use Office files. And you don't need to call client support to download this plugin. So it's a win-win for everybody.
All right, Diana, great. Diana's trying it now. Is there anything that I can do for you guys while you have me online? So Rich says one benefit of Google Drive plugin is that a local copy and any local backups are an extra safeguard for the paranoid. <laughs> ah, very good. Um, any upcoming lessons on screenshots? Yeah, um, that's actually, I'm surprised how popular of a webinar that is. Uh, we are nearing the end of our scheduled workshops and uh, we will um, be coming up with a schedule for next semester. Um, so uh, that will definitely be one of our webinars. We've offered um, I'll just give you a quick rundown of what we offered this year. We offered screenshots and cre screencasts like videos and everything to do, you know, on how to uh, get those, that software for free. It's free software. We've offered a, um, um, a Google version of Office products uh, webinar, uh, not webinar, um, um, workshop where um, instead of learning about Word, we talk about Google Docs. Instead of learning about Excel, we talk about Google Spreadsheets. And then um, Google also has Google Slides. So we're going to run that again. Um, we do Qualtrics workshops, but that'll all be for next semester. If there's anything that you're interested in, and let's say you want it during the intercession, by all means, you can email do it training. That's do it. Um, underscore, oops, underscore training at stonybrook.edu. <clears throat> and we'll come up with a customized uh, workshop for your team. Or if you just want some one-on-one -on -one help, I do that a lot. Um, you know, we can set up a date and time and I can work with you over the phone. So nobody even needs to get out of their office. I can um, connect to your computer and see what you're doing and walk you through um, everything on your phone. It, it works out really nicely. So if there's anything you want to learn about, just email, do it training, and we'll find a way um, to spend some time with you.